everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 19th episode and once again, a massive thank you for the support you have been showing for the series, my friends. I really, really do appreciate that and I especially appreciate all the support in the last couple of episodes where we, you know, didn't do any building. We did a bunch of exploring and a bunch of fun stuff, so I hope you guys are alright with that. So... Yeah, guys, today we're going to get back to building though, and specifically I'd like to go ahead and build this house here. It is a very strange shape, we've got sort of a larger room here, with a little, little sort of side room sticking out here. Now, the function of this new building is going to be to store all of our wood-related stuffs, wood slash tree-related stuffs, whether that be, you know, the wood planks, the wood logs, saplings, all that kind of stuff. Anything wood-related is going to wind up in here, so this is the build this is the plot that we've got going on and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves something really really nice going on here so this is going to seem really weird but i'm actually going to start off with some decoration i want to try and figure out some sort of thing oh hey that's pretty awesome okay right that actually is kind of awesome. I wasn't expected to uh, find the stream down there, but it is. It's there. It's looking good. Right, so let's go ahead and build up these little uh, corner bits real quick. Ah, there's the Minecraft music. I do love the Minecraft music. But there we go. Uh, so there's that. So why don't we go ahead and do a little thing here. Uh, why don't we chuck down a couple of bits in fact, we could probably use glowstone here, to be honest with you guys. The idea is I want to have, like, a couple of decoration bits in these corners. And then we'll have ourselves, like, a waterfall uh, here sort of thing, right? Uh, so, that's looking cool. All right, so, uh, do, should we just go for a nice basic cobblestone floor? Sometimes I think going with the basics can be a nice thing to do. So, yeah, why don't we do that? So, here's a little bit of that. And then, in addition to that, I think what might be a nice idea... If is if we do something like this and then something like this then we could have like a row of three chests or a column of three chests one two three like that and then one two three like that and actually i've just thought of something maybe we could have ourselves like a little window here obviously there's going to be an actual window behind it in this section here so oh mate this is going to be awesome okay cool hey man i like it when i could just get straight on with a build i don't know about you guys but it's just it's just nice to do these things so why don't we get a couple of uh, windows there let's get a bit of cobblestone in there you see this thing is already starting to look fairly decent uh one thing i should say is i dug up a bunch of clay since the last episode and i've been going ahead and storing it in here oh boy do we have a lot? <laughs> we got a lot of clay, my friends, which is amazing. And you know what that means? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got flower pots for days, boys. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, awesome stuff. All right, so uh, let's get you placed in there. You're going to have a size of waterfall there, as I told you guys before. So that's looking good. Uh, maybe we could squeeze in a little bit of glowstone right there. And then, yeah, we can have everything else going on. All right, this is going to be awesome. All right, so let's get that and that. So maybe this side here could be for... Well, I've just realized, actually, this is a little bit thin. Oh, well, I think it could still work, though. Maybe we have this side for saplings and then this side for for the various different variations of planks and buttons and trap doors, doors, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and start utilizing some uh, item frames. I think that would be a really cool idea because, well, it's not like we don't have a, a good supply of leather now. We've got a pretty damn good supply of leather, actually. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. All right, uh, let's go put you down. Uh, let's get a different flower. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. There we go. How about an allium? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stress monster would be proud. Anyways, <laughs> all is looking well. So even, oh wow, even just that, even all I've just done there. I mean, it still looks pretty decent, doesn't it? I'm all right with this. Okay, cool. So, uh, I think what would be a good idea though, I mean, I need to get some sort of water source to place up there, right? So it might be a good idea if we start work on the ceiling. Uh, hmm. And I'm thinking of doing a cobblestone border with some planks on the inside. That's not looking bad, is it? I'm rather enjoying that cobblestone accent. I think that works really, really well. Sweet. Hey, man, I like it when things work first time. All right, so let's just quickly do a little bit of this. I haven't got the roof finished, by the way. I just sort of saw the build from afar and I was like, yeah, buddy, I'm liking that. Right. 
You see, I've come up with a bit of an issue. This uh, this building may wind up... I mean, it's joining up to various different sections anyway. Uh, I don't know. I still think it looks fairly... Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if I like the fact that this is connecting. In all honesty, I don't know if I like that. Maybe what I do is make this into a double door and then I actually sort of bring this inner block just so we can uh, prevent the build from hitting other builds, you know? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, there we go, my friends. I think I've got this thing looking a lot better now. As you can see, it doesn't connect to over here, which, in my opinion, makes it look a lot better. It looks like a proper, you know, individual building now. And what that also means is the height of the roof has also come down, so it's no longer touching the the sort of underside of the walkway. The only thing is, this part here is connecting, but you know what? I don't think that's too much of an issue, considering, you know, I mean, who's going to be running through here, right? You're, like, you're not really going to be seeing this, so I think that's okay. Like, from here, you would be able to see that, and in my opinion, that just would just look terrible, right? Uh, but over here, it's not too much, you know, it's not too much of a fuss, because, you know, not many people are probably going to see it, right? So, yeah, I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. In the meantime, why don't we go ahead and get back to it? So, here we go. Let's carry on with the cobblestone floor and everything else, and then we can work on the interior a little bit more, get those item frames in, and then this place will be pretty much done. Then we can move on to another one, right? Yeah, buddy. All right, so that's looking pretty decent. You may notice in these corners here, I've got some various bits and bobs going. Uh, why don't I go ahead and uh, place down another furnace? Maybe we can chuck that in there. And you know what? Why not, for the sake of diagonal symmetry, we could put that in there. And then we could probably get away with doing a little bit of that again. You see what I've done here? Like, I think that looks pretty cool. So, in fact, why don't I go ahead and put some glowstone in there as well? Again, just for a little bit of lighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking decent. All right, and then if I go ahead and do a little bit of that, that should make the ceiling look a li little bit better as well. Uh, there we go. Oh, mate. This building is going to be awesome. It really, really is. All right, and all we got to do is do a little bit of that and then probably put some stairs in between, something like that. Let's go. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Nice one. Okay, so we've got that all figured out quite nicely. So let's just get the rest of these upside down stairs in. Obviously, we're using upside down stairs because we can still open the chests. And of course, talking of chests, we need one more to go in that particular section. There we go. All right. So, yeah, like I say, we've got a section for the saplings. We've got a section for the different variants of the wood plank recipe wood type things. And then, of course, this area over here is going to be made into the actual wood log storage. So, if I were to go ahead and uh, convert a bunch of these into chests. Yeah, 16 of the bad boys. Nice one. Okay, so we need six double chests, right? So, we could probably go ahead and do something like this. Uh, wait, what? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. There we go. Six double chests. Uh, and then maybe... I don't know. Probably, like, put something in here. I'm not entirely sure, though. Well, there's six. I mean, that looks okay. It definitely looked better, though. What if I do some more stairs like that? Yeah, yeah, that's looking decent. All right. And we could probably do that in there as well, like that. Looking good. Looking good. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. In fact, if I go ahead and chuck in a slab right there, there we go. Now it looks like the water's hidden away a little bit more, right? Looking good. All right, so how's the light levels looking? Looking good. And then that, of course, goes way down to into there. I could probably get rid of that dirt block there, so it officially goes into the little stream down there. Awesome stuff. Hey, man, this is awesome. Okay, so, I mean, we could probably just put, like, a little table down in here with a flower on it. <laughs> nice one. Sweet. Yo. Dudes, this is looking good. Right, and now, of course, to finish it off, just a couple of doors. Uh, that would do the job real nicely. Something like that. Okay, and let's get you chucked in there. Looking good. All right, so that's the actual build done. I could probably do a little thing here, actually. Uh, if I was to go ahead and put a solid cobblestone block here... Oh, I can hear zombies. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming along at night time, buddy. You're not invading me now. Where is he? I don't know. I don't like it, though. Oh, jeez. Hello. Uh, right. <laughs> Come on, silky monster. Come on. There we go. Right. You get chucked in there. And then the idea is I would very much like to go ahead and put some uh, cobblestone fences down like that in the corners to sort of, in air quotes, hide the glowstone. 
If I put it there, we can't actually walk through there anymore. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world because, I mean, like I say, I don't really intend on walking through there anyway. So, yeah. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think this build is pretty much done. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Fantastic. Hey, man, we've got ourselves a nice wood storage area going. Everything's looking good. And for a little finishing touch, I'm very tempted to chuck down a singular chest there, and then this one can have, like, an axe in it or something like that, like a little tool storage thing. Nice one. And, well, actually, we could put, like, an axe and then maybe other wooden stuffs in there that don't have variants. So things like chests and sticks and all that kind of stuff. Nice one. All right, let's go to sleep. It seems to be raining a lot more in my world now. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but hey-ho, it's all good. It's all good. Right, and we're going to go check on our leather supplies and then get those item frames in. Now, sadly, we don't have... I'm pretty sure the only type of wood we don't have access to currently is actually jungle. We haven't found a jungle yet on this world, which, you know, is a little bit concerning. I'd very much like to try and find some, but, you know, can't have everything, can you? Right, uh, a little bit of chicken. Awesome. Oh, my word. Guys, look at it, though. It's nice to be able to walk along this residential pathway and see a nice little build going on here. A little bit larger than all the other builds, but it's all good. I love that. I am I am proper holding back burps right now. <laughs> so professional. So professional. Unbelievably so. Right. Uh, all right. Item frame. Boop. 16 of them. Is that going to be enough? I have no idea. Uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're going to need one on each of these. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then we need like three more. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. One, two, three. I think that should do it. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Right, now then, all we need to do is go ahead and get everything wooden. We're going to try and get all of the stuff organized. And then, yeah, I'll show you guys what this looks like once it is done. All right, folks, so do you remember when I previously stated that you can force grow a 2x2 spruce tree to get a bunch of pods all to grow? Uh, yeah, there it is. Look at this. We've got a bunch of pods on. We've got our 2x2 two two spruce tree, and things are looking good. Right, so if I was to go ahead and chop this thing down and uh, hopefully get four saplings from this, I'll be able to show you guys on camera because, you know, there may be some skeptics who may be watching who are like, oh, hey, wait, he must have placed all of that pods all down with the new Silk Touch pickaxe. He's got... No, 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 no. You can have Podzol as a renewable resource now. It is awesome. I'm looking forward to uh, showing you guys this because it's really, really cool. It's about time that they made Podzol somehow renewable because it's like the only thing that doesn't spread to, to dirt or grass, right? Like even mycelium spreads. So it, it's it's a bit of a mystery why Podzol didn't spread. But now that it is indeed a renewable resource, in a manner of speaking, you know, it, it's nice. It's nice. It's very, very nice that they implemented that. Hey, there we go. Right. Uh, while they're dropping down, I need to quickly go ahead and grab some bone meal. And I'll tell you what, while we're going ahead and doing that, we'll jump into the common question of the video coming from Golemite YT. Hey man, I love the way you make videos. I have a few questions. Are you going to make a Q&A? And if yes, when? And are you going to start another series on this channel aside from this one? Mod showcases, maybe. Uh, to answer your first question, I have indeed done Q&A videos in the past on my main channel, which is just Python GB. Uh, I've never done Q&As on this channel, though. Like, I don't know. I've always felt like IRL. I don't really know, to be honest with you guys. Because, you know, both of the channels I have, both the Minecraft and the main channel, they're both super active, right? But when it comes to IRL content, it's like... Well, what what channel should I put it on? I'm not entirely sure. So, yeah. I mean, I may do like a Minecraft Q&A in future. I mean, you know, in that case, yes. That would definitely fit on this particular channel. Considering this channel is Minecraft. So, yeah. But in the meantime, I mean, yeah. I mean, we could probably wind up doing a q and I usually do Q&As like during live streams. Like, you know, live streams are basically massive Q&As, right? For the most part. So, yeah, uh, but uh, aside from that, I mean, yeah, we could probably do one, but I'm not entirely sure when or what channel to do it on yet, so yeah. And uh, to answer your other question, the only other series which I will be starting on this channel will eventually be Hermitcraft Season 6, whenever that winds up coming around. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm looking forward to starting on that one, I really, really am. And I hope you guys are excited for it too, but you know, like I say, I don't even know when it's coming, so yeah. Anyways, guys, let's go and do this thing. So we've got a bunch of bone we've got our 2x2 two two spruce saplings. Check this out. Four square of the tree, or try to four square, oh, it's because of that long grass, right? 
I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. So we've just force grown the 2x2 two two spruce tree and it's given us a bunch of pods all. That is awesome. I'm really, I'm a huge fan of that. I genuinely am. Because what I can now do is use my pickaxe to start picking up the pods all and we can start decorating our flower town with it. Heck yeah, buddy. We've got ourselves a new renewable block to use. <laughs> I'm very, very happy with that. Now, obviously, you know, probably the best case thing, you know, the best thing that we could have happen is we get ourselves a silk touch shovel. That would be fantastic because it would make this job a lot easier and a lot quicker, right? <laughs> oh, dear. But it's all good. It's all good. We should probably go to sleep as well. I don't really want the game to crash because of the weird, bugged out, freaking drowned AI. Uh, right, let's get out here. And yeah, you may notice I've got like a ton of trees growing out here because this is where I'm getting my wood from. <laughs> Uh, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. Everything's looking brilliant. All right, let's have a little bit of a sleepy inside of the clay house. And then, yeah, we'll have a look on the inside of the wood house and see what's going on. So, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> There's always that big old lag spike, and it's thanks to all of the daylight sensors. There we go. Look at that. Right, we can now probably fill this entire thing up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at he do. That's all looking good, isn't it, my friends? I like that. That's a good sight to me. Right, let's go ahead and place down the saplings. So they're going to go in this chest here. You may notice we've got like spruce planks and then spruce saplings on the opposite side. Oak planks, oak saplings on the opposite side. I've also decided to implement leaves into these chests as well, uh, simply because I feel like they work, work quite nicely in there. So that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, guys, check it out. We have ourselves a wood storage hut, and it is a very, very nice build. It, it sort of works for this area, doesn't it? It really does. Now, I think what might be a nice idea, just to finish off the episode, is maybe, just maybe, we can get this tiny little horse hut done, and then we could put the horse in here. I, I, I think that's a nice idea, right? So, why don't we get to that real quick, and then, yeah, we'll see what we can come up with. Alrighty, guys. A nice, simple build. Let's get this underway. This should be, like, one of my speediest builds I think I've ever done, and I've just realized I forgot to get regular cobblestone blocks out. Oh, Python. Uh, your memory really is that terrible, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really is. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We don't even need that much cobblestone. All right, so let's get this thing rolling, and then we'll get the horse in it, and then end the episode, because otherwise this episode's going to go on a little bit too long. Boom, boom, and then a little bit of boom, boom, and then a little bit of boom and a boom. All right, so let's have ourselves some glass in here, rather like this, and let's have ourselves another log on top and then very very simply we can have ourselves a little bit of a roof going on here uh something like this and obviously we want to make sure that we're not like bashing our heads on the inside of this thing uh on the ceiling should i say so uh let's do something like that and believe it or not that should just about do it like like i say it really doesn't need to be anything that fancy right huh. all right i mean maybe i could do a little bit of that Make it look a little bit more interesting. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, that looks that looks a little bit better. All right. So let me just go ahead and uh, get rid of that. And then I could probably do a little thing here. Yeah, there we go. And then we bone meal this. So we kind of make it look like the horse has got something to feed on. And then, of course, we need to go get the main article himself. We need to go get the horsey. Hey, buddy. It's about time, isn't it? Oh, I managed to get on him from here. Huh. Awesome. Right, can I, like, get there from here? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, this is going to be a massive maze. <laughs> uh, you see, with all of these trees, I've accidentally made this settlement not very horse-friendly, huh? Anyways, here we go. All right, buddy. And then in you go. You you sort of sit in there. And away you go. Yeah. And, and he's resting on top of there, apparently. <laughs> Right, hang on a minute. I might be able to fix that real quick. Uh, right, if I just get back on you, and I just quickly do a little bit of that. Uh, if I were to place those blocks in like that, that should prevent him from like going up, and therefore like suffocating himself thanks to a glitch or something silly. Right, there we go, and let's close you in. There you go. All right, and then that looks pretty terrible. Maybe we could just go ahead and get rid of that. Or better still, we could probably just go ahead and put some stairs on here. Yeah, there we go. 
That's how we roll, boys. That's how we roll. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. A very basic horse pen and also our wood storage. Hut. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it will really help out the, myself, the channel, and the video very, very much. And I'd super appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, folks. And that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>